A pleasant morning to members of the media and welcome to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Weekly Media Brief. My name is Michael Jackman, Acting Assistant Superintendent, Corporate Communications Unit and Public Information Officer for the TTPS. Today, I will be speaking to crime as relates to a period of from 1st January 2017 to 16th April 2017 and the comparative period for 2018. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has realized a 17% reduction in reported serious crimes during the period 1st January 2018 to 14th April 2018, when compared to the same period of 2017. In 2017, the total number of serious crimes recorded during the period stood at 3,773, as opposed to 3,125 in 2018. Reports of woundings and shootings decreased by 21% with 155 reports being recorded for the mentioned period in 2018, compared to 196 for the same period, 2017. Burglary and breakings were reduced with a total of 645 reports being made in 2017, as compared to 473 report in cases in 2018. This change reflects a 27% decrease Reports of offenses such as rape, incest, and other offenses of a sexual nature were reduced by 21% as of 192 reported reports, recorded reports for the period 2017 when compared to 151 for the same period of 2018. Fraud offenses saw a 51% drop and reflected a total of 199 reported cases in 2017, as opposed to 98 reported cases for the same period in 2018. Reports of general larceny reduced by 15% and revealed a figure of 583 reported cases in 2017, as opposed to 496 reports being received in 2018. The offense of larceny dwelling house saw a reduction of 56% as there were 82 reports being made during the period 2017 as compared to 36 in the current year 2018. Reports of larceny motor vehicle were also reduced by 47% as our, our records show a total of 252 reports for the period 2017 as compared to 133 in 2018. There were increased detections with respect to narcotic offenses with 150 seizures in 2018 when compared to 142 for the same period 2017. This represents a 6% increase in the detection rate in the current year. Possession of firearms and ammunition detections also saw an increase of 6% with 278 de detections being made in 2017 and 294 in 2018. With respect to narcotic seizures, I will now give you the weight in kilograms for the respective periods. In 2017, marijuana seizures amounted to 492.11 kilograms, whereas in 2018, marijuana seizures amounted to 602.32 kilograms. That represents a 22% increase in that type of seizure. With respect to cocaine, in 2017, the figure stood at 18.2 kilograms, and in 2018, it now stands for that period under review, 142.03 kilograms. This represents a 680% increase in that type of detection. Firearm seizures for the period January 1st, 
to April 16th reflected this. With respect to 2017, revolvers, we seized 52 revolvers, as opposed to 2018 when we seized 97. Regarding pistols, 158 were seized in 2017, as compared to 148 in the current year. Shotguns, 22 in 2017, and 17 in 2018. Submachine guns, eight were seized in 2017, as opposed to four in the current year. Rifle seizures amounted to five in 2017 for the set period, and seven in the current year. With regards to air rifles, two were seized during the period in 2017, and one in the current year. Homemade shotguns, 21 had been seized in 2017, as compared to 20 in 2018. Trap gun, the figure remains the same. Eight seizures took place in 2017, and the same in 2018. Firearms that had been modified, one seizure took place in 2017, and zero in 2018. The increase total is 9%. There were a total of 277 firearms seized in 2017 and 302 in the current year. With respect to ammunition found and seized as of January 1st to April 16th, 2017, that figure stood at 3,199 assorted rounds. For the said period in 2018, the figure stood at 5,000 391 rounds. This represents a 69% increase in such seizures.